the Rocha Ranch? Five years old, 1962, 1968. Y'all you know exactly when your dad moved out here? I don't know when my dad moved out here, but my grandpa, I don't know when my grandpa, I think in 1952, when he bought the ranch, I think. No, it's, it's on 40. 40-something. 40 48, I think, 46, around 48. 48. 48. And before y'all were here, y'all were in Pawnee? Mm -hmm. Nell. Nell. All right. Yep. A couple of y'all were born. But we were born in Pawnee, yeah, some of us, yeah. And the rest yes, before the, born before here. they bought this. No, just Joe was born here, though. You? Oh, uh, no. Joe's from there. Uh, so out of all the siblings, how many total? Twelve. But three died when they were babies, yeah. Well, when grandpa well. moved out here, he farmed it, right? He didn't work for anybody else? He farmed here? No. No. He was all brush, and then they cleared 31 acres. And then he started farming, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cotton? Cotton, corn. Yeah. Broom weed, uh, broom, broom corn. Broom corn. Not a broom corn. Yeah, they they grew up all of that from their 21 acres by grew up in a hole and an ax. Grandpa and who? And uh, his brother, uh, Francisco. They call him Panchito. <coughs> Where did Francisco live? He right. lived right here too? Yeah, he lived here with us. He had a lot of siblings or kids, and he and wasn't not. married. Never married. Oh, no. <clears throat> Just grandpa and his brother, mm -hmm. and all y'all. He built that little, we call it hmm? the, the motel. The little, the little greenhouse. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's where he lived. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so, Juan, you're the oldest, correct? Yeah. And how old are you? 86. 86. And then who's the next oldest? My sister. Funny. Funny. She's what? Oh, boy. Uh, 84. 84, I think, yeah. And then it's, who's that yeah. funny? It was Mary. Mary? Right. Could have been what? Probably about 80 right now. 82, maybe. Right? I'm, I'm from 1940. I'm 81. 81. You're 81. And Mary is older than you? Yeah. Yeah. And then Stephanie. Stephanie. Juan. And after you, who's next? Tell us. Anita. Anita. And you're seven, Anita. Are five years apart. You have to do it, right? You're seven, yeah. five, yeah. He's yeah. 81. Six years apart. Six years. <coughs> Anita. Then, uh, Tommy. Tom. Tommy. Jane. Jane. And Joe. Joe. <coughs> so. Basically, y'all have had this farm, ranch, and the Rocha name since 1940-ish? He thinks around 46, somewhere else. Yeah. Lots of years. Lots of years. Grandkids, great-grandkids. Yeah. But this, this used to be real thick brush, too. That I remember when. What? Anybody know why Grandpa got how he got here? And this like located here, or just what it was available at the time? I guess it was available and they bought it. Yeah. Didn't they buy half half of it from yeah. from this fence? Yeah, this fence right there. I Me, mean, total acres originally. 161. 161. 140. 140. 140. So maybe like almost a quarter section. Yeah. This, this was 80. The old part, 60. All right. Yeah. <coughs> so we used to, me and my uncles used to sleep outside because there was no room inside the house. One one bedroom, that's it. <laughs> all the girls inside, all the boys outside. So <laughs> when that house was built, it looks like it's been added onto it, though. Yeah. Yeah. What was the original part of the house? Just this side. Just this yeah. side? Yeah. Yeah. Dirt, dirt floors. Dirt floors. Yep. You, you said yeah. And then one made the other room on the other side. And then they put cement there first, but the other side was the kitchen, all that was still the dirt floor. So when did y'all finally put cement on the rest of it? Quantum cemento one. Quantum cemento. Yes. I don't know. Or the 50s. 50s. Yeah. 
No, I was already six years old, so ten years old. Time I got cemented. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to school. It was still dirt floor. Yeah. We used to sleep outside unless it rained. We'd go inside the house. Come on, that's how the only was a bedroom and a kitchen. This is. So mm -hmm. We sleep outside. The boys sleep outside. Girls sleep inside on the floor. Good life. <laughs> no, no TV sometimes, but anybody still had a good life. Hey, made that, you the man you are today. You gotta, you gotta appreciate it. That tall tree over there, you see the other side, the little house? Yeah. The tall one? That's where we used to stay. Underneath it? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> that's why once in a while I just call the little house the, the mountain. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the, the mountain was the tree. All right. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Yeah, that's what we used to stay there. Y'all going to school, y'all had to walk how many miles to get to the bus? Oh, we had to walk from here to there, but all the way across. Half here. a mile? Half a mile? Half a mile. Good half a mile. Walk to it, walk back. Yeah. <coughs> if, it, if, 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 it, if it rained, we had to walk all the way to the other side down the other road. So most of the time, was, we cut across here dry huh. in the morning. Not much choice, or ride a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you had to adjust for the uh, timing. Not, if it rained, you had to leave a little earlier. It was no, it right. was no, it was no adjustment. If it rained, you 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 ran. <laughs> you ran. <laughs> 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 or didn't go to school. One or two. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. We had our school bus stuck every now and then. Yeah, <laughs> we were going to get stuck. <laughs> so we to, we'd be late for school. Oh boy, we enjoyed that though. <laughs> <laughs> You know, South Texas got a lot of wildlife. Yeah, a lot, yeah. lot of hogs, a lot of hogs. Javelina. Javelina, Javelina back in the daytime, a lot of Javelina. Not more, you don't see them hardly nothing no more, Javelines. What else you got running around here? Deer, we used to hunt a lot of bobcats, a lot of coon back in the day. Mm -hmm. Doves and armadillos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Being this close to town, you always see the signs about alligators. Whatever. No, I don't know alligators back in the daytime. Mm. Not before they build a choke canyon. You know? Yeah, when they build that lake is when we start getting alligators. How did they get here? Just around the river or somebody put them there. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's used to seeing Florida with alligators, not Three Rivers, Texas. Mm. <laughs> there were some ladies in the, outside of Three Rivers there, kind of by the river. They would find babies or eggs or something, and uh, they would hatch them or somehow, I don't know. But they would have sim swimming pools out there, and they would put the little baby alligators in the swimming pool and <laughs> feed them there and have them as pets. Uh, Till John, he worked for some ladies out there at houses that had that. And I went with him one time, sure enough, had baby alligators in the swimming pool <laughs> for pets. <laughs> How long do you keep pet alligators? I don't know <laughs> how long they kept them. I bet they had to finally get somebody to get rid of them. Yeah. But all here we used to come just to work. We was living in in, in, in there. We probably moved here 58 or 59. And I, well, I, I did lots of, lots of trips walking back. Yeah, from here, from here to now? Yeah. Oh, man. When it rained, I just got my mama stay over there. When it rained, I just take off. <laughs> so out of all y'all siblings, how many of y'all actually had to pick cotton? I don't know, my dad talks about going up All of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I picked a lot of cotton here. here. All of us. When I was five years old, six years old, me and my sister. <clears throat> so I mean, it's passed down. Yeah. When was the first time they had any kind of mechanical cotton stripper picker? Oh, never. No. Not out here, never. 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 Out here, never. Yeah. <laughs> no, no kind of right here. It's like on the 65. Manual labor. I believe it was 65. They used to come from the West Texas. I would come down here, mechanical. Two rows. Harvester. Yeah. Just two rows. <laughs> two rows. Jeez. Yeah. <clears throat> they had little corn strippers too, the, the Nico Hook on a tractor. One row, one row corn stripper. Huh? One or two, one or two rows, yeah. And, and we picked just the ears. It wouldn't it wouldn't shed it, it would just pick the ears. Pick the ear. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what they do with the stock after that? Is that what they made the broom corn out of, or is that the whole? Different no, no, no. Broom corn is a whole different deal. They didn't, no. they didn't produce it here, right? No, no, I produce a, a stem for them to make brooms out of. Yeah. It had it was corn, the broom corn it had, it had seed on top of it. And, and That's where the yeah. broom came yeah. 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 Anybody yeah. still grow that around here, y'all know? No, no, no. Not that I know of. I don't know if they ever grow it anymore. No, that was back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, you got plastic brooms and yeah. all these mm -hmm. cheaper more. <clears throat> the last I heard that where they planted broom corn was a guy in Oklahoma. Monogram. Yeah, that's but, less, but, but you still had to pick it by hand. I heard that <coughs> you, you, you still had to pick it by hand, right? You still had to cut it, yeah. yeah there you, was no you, machine you, for that. You, no, there's no machine for that. You had to pull the stalk and then make them tied up in bundles like that. And then you get the bundles and you run to the machine to take the seed off. And then, and then you. That's in the broom, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know the, they know the broom corner and the seed. And you, you, that, they run to that machine and they cut it off. It's hard a lot of people to do, to do that because it was all tied in bundles. Yeah. <coughs> tied in bundles. That I remember. <laughs> Rough life. Pick a lot of pick a lot of beans and and trash beans, clean beans here. I'm talking about big piles of beans, not just not little, little piles, big piles. Green beans. Yeah, but when they dry up, when they they dry, we had to pinto beans. Yeah, we had to, we had to beat. They weren't green beans. Pinto yeah, we, beans. We, we, we had to beat them with a stick, get all the beans out. <laughs> <laughs> and wind blowing, you know, get the little shovel, get all the, the trash, trash off. <laughs> They're rough. We did it all, all, everything by hand. Oh, man. Everything. Kill a lot of goats, kill a lot of pigs to eat out here. Self <laughs> sufficient. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, we have plenty of goats, plenty of, plenty of pigs. Oh, well, no, look in the fridge and eat something to eat. Go it, was fr it, was, it was fresh. Fresh. Very interesting. Goat milk. I milked a lot of goats in my time. Man, I used to hate that. I don't, I don't think I ever want to milk a goat again. <laughs> my days I have about 100. Yeah. Now out of 100, you had to probably milk about 30 of them. Man, it was rough. When did uh, when y'all get power out here? Cause I'm pretty sure when y'all first moved out here. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Gosh, it was quite a while. Running water was in the 70s. Really? 70 k what, eight? About 78, we had running water here. It was real rain water, we had the hot water. Submergible, you're a well? No, all this hot water here, okay. we had the hot water. Y eran como los 70s, como pusieron electricidad. So y'all can't, you can't, you drill submergible and have water? Uh, it's, it's salt water. Yep. Yeah. 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 Well, around. Uh, it's, all, it's all salt yeah. water on here, it's about a thousand foot, and it's caught a lot of money, you know. Yeah. So it was all, we had to haul it. We were little, my mom used to take us to the tank and give us all the bass at the tank, the stock tank. My dad had a border, they would take us open water and, Take a bath, ready for school the next day. <laughs> now this water that we got is the same deal like in town. Like it, the city water? Yeah, it runs from uh, Panama Maria. Panama Maria, the other side of city, which is good water, but now they educate, uh, they put that chemical yeah. that we're not supposed to drink. Uh, but it, we got the pressure and, and we got the meter. I saw that when I come down because usually houses in the country don't have water meters. You usually yeah. have a submerged. You, everything on this side of, of that highway where it crosses that, it's all salt water, sulfur water. That side where, where, where her, her, her dad lived on that side, all that's good water over there. Everything on this side is all salt water and sulfur water. And hot water is a well right here, hot, hot, about 160 degrees come out of the ground, hot water, and, and salty. Real yeah, salt, real salt. No, it's got, it's got a windmill on it, but, okay. but, but it will come out hot, hot, hot. They put in a pond, it cool out, and then it runs another pond so the cows will drink it. Oh. Yeah, real hot, real hot, <laughs> hot water. <laughs> no, and I had a, good, had a good life out here. <laughs> <laughs> run, run around, run around barefoot. Yeah, I kept telling them, they're black there. I mean, we're coming out here, yeah. kids. I remember 20 people in that little house, and this thing seemed like it was 100 acres to me. Yeah, it yeah. Spread out, and they were <coughs> back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I used to run, run, run all this place on barefoot. Oh, yeah. Now, first, we had the road on the back, on the back side. Yeah, coming around the back, oh. the west side. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we used to hey, hey, my grandpa would plant corn. I, we put the cows in the evening, and I had to go on my shelling pony and get them out in the afternoon. Put them in the morning, and after night time, put them up. Put them up. 
brought bear back when I was little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it every day, every day. You still ride bear back, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you got about 30 saddles now. <laughs> 30 saddles now, she didn't. <laughs> yeah. I worked in there, put it hard on this road to, to clear it, but just on, on the narrow, is for one core. Yeah. But this, hey, hey, by hand, guys. Yeah. This guy, they were on. But, it was two running for commission. The one that was on, and then another one was running on it. And he talked to me, he said, if I win, I clear the rest of the road. And he win and he clear. <laughs> the, the other one was already a, a country road. Yeah. That one. Yeah, the, the backside of it. Backside.